All right, guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching the video. I was doing a little work in my safe today and I came across this in the back and I'm like, I gotta pull this out and do a video. So here we go. It'll be a short one for you though today. Don't have a lot of time, but I just couldn't, couldn't just shut the safe and not pull this out and share this with you. So here we go. Beautiful Colt box. All of you know those are hard to find. And all the paperwork with it, which is nice. So what do we got here? Yes, there it is. Another blued Colt revolver, it's beautiful. This one, guys, is a 1981. It's a diamond back. And it's chambered in 22 long rifle. Okay, it's empty. Just love the look of these blued revolvers, Colt bluing, of course, with the, the walnut grips. They're it's just such an iconic look. I love it. So, um, very similar to the Python, a um, little smaller. The Python was built on an I-frame, and this is a D-frame. But you can see um, a full a full underlug and um, in a vented barrel. This is a four inch barrel. Um, and again, just has the deep cold bluing. And um, you just don't see that anywhere else except from Colt. It's just beautiful. Now, the 22, I believe, is a little more rare than the 38. I'm not sure what the breakdown is. I'm just going to suggest maybe a 80-20. 20% 20. Um, 20 of course, 22 long rifle chambered. If you guys know, please let me know. That would be, that would be interesting to, to know here. But I have heard that the 22s are a little harder to find than the 38s, and I've certainly found that to be the case um, as I've been collecting over the years. And I'm just really happy to have this little guy in my collection. It's just really, really beautiful. You know, the deep bluing. Just very nice. The sharp checkering on the walnut grips too. I don't know if you can see that. And these gold medallions are really, really nice to see as well. You know, you all are familiar with the the Serpent series that Colt came out with. And the Diamondback is the third, third Serpent that came out. And um, of course, I'm gonna <laughs> tell you what the first two, the Cobra and the Python were the first two that came out. And then of course, uh, here we are, 1981, Diamondback. And then um, the Viper, the boa, the king cobra, and then the anaconda rounded out the seven serpents. So these, these were introduced in 1966 and they went through 1988 and, and this 1981 was kind of coming to the end of the, the, the cold craftsmanship and quality that we've all come to love and appreciate in our in our older Colts. But this this example is just really just amazing. Very beautiful. All right. Well, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Um, if you know the, the breakdown percentage, you know, 38 versus 22, that would be helpful to know. 
And then also, I know there were some nickel, nickel diamondbacks that were manufactured as well. And I think those are very rare. Um, I have not come across one of those, but anyway, I don't want to keep you too long. I could go on and on. Whenever I pull one of these out, I, I'm just amazed by the quality and the craftsmanship of Colt. All right, guys, thanks again for being here. If you're still here, please like the video and subscribe. We got more content coming out. I'm going to continue to start to work through um, some of my personal uh, revolvers that I have that I want to share with you guys and get those out on video. So um, hit that hit that little bell too. So uh, when we drop a new video that um, you'll be able to see it. So thanks again for being here. I'll talk to you again soon. See ya. Three, two, one, I'm done. I can't get that light.